From entire military planes to creepy isolated hotels, here are 11 surprising discoveries made in the desert. Number 11. The Clown Motel while staying in a hotel that's next to an abandoned cemetery might be creepy, some would argue that standing in an abandoned cemetery that's next to a clown-themed hotel would be right out of a Stephen King novel. Strangely enough, the cemetery isn't the scariest thing in Tonopah. It's actually the Clown Motel. This motel is sure to capture your attention with a giant, strange motel clown sign complete with a cutout clown standing next to it, and it just gets creepier from there. The entire hotel is circus-themed, and when you head to the front desk to check in, you'll find shelves filled with clowns staring back at you. As you first approach your room, you'll see a clown on your door. Even better, every room is decorated with old, creepy clown figurines, as well as a clown picture over every bed, just in case you forgot where you were. While it isn't the hottest tourist spot for obvious reasons, many over-the-road truckers stop in to take a break at this cheap motel. But the creepy clowns aren't the only strange thing about this place. Many claim that it's also haunted, so much so that it's been featured on a popular ghost hunting show. However, many think it's only haunted by association because it's located right next to the Tonopah graveyard. I'm not planning on booking a trip here anytime soon. What about you? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on more videos like these. Number 10. Russian Military Plane The desert is extreme. You've got rough terrain, harsh temperatures, and everything is dry. But you might be surprised to know that quite a few wars have been fought here. Whether it be ancient wars in places like Egypt, or world wars that enveloped the entire world, there have been many battles above and on desert terrain. In 2003, a very special plane was found buried beneath the sand, a MiG-25R Foxbat B. These planes belong to Russia, and several were actually found buried at Al Takadum airfield west of Baghdad. Why were they there? Most likely they were being saved for later. Defense Secretary Donald Rumsfeld said in an August 5th press briefing, We'd heard a great many things had been buried, but we had not known where they were, and we'd been operating in that immediate vicinity for weeks and weeks and weeks, 12, 13 weeks, and didn't know they were there, Rumsfeld said. The secretary said he wasn't sure how many such aircraft had been found, but noted it wasn't one or two. The sands of Iraq clearly hold many secrets and many expensive aircrafts. Number 9. Ancient Pot Stash in 2008, archaeologists were investigating a 2,700-year-old grave in the Gobi Desert when they stumbled upon what they thought was coriander. As it turns out, further inspection of the mysterious substance actually proved it was weed. The people that lived during that time period were known to grow marijuana for rope, clothing, and other useful things, but now they've been busted for smoking it as well. The archaeologists recovered almost two pounds of the devil's lettuce, but unfortunately, because it had decomposed significantly since it was made, it has no real street value and would not give you the effect you're looking for. Experts believe that it was most likely used for medical or religious purposes. Not being able to find ancient bongs or pipes, they also believe that the cannabis was either ingested or fumigated. What's interesting is that the bowl of weed was found next to a deceased man who had a plethora of other valuables lying next to him, leading experts to believe that he held a high status and was possibly even a shaman. Today, you can find this large ancient pot stash in the Turpan Museum in China. Number 8. Hindu Temple India is a nation that is rich in history, one that goes back countless millennia. But one piece of their more recent history, a Hindu temple called Nagaswara Swami, was uncovered this year after some villagers literally dug it out of the sand. The temple is located in the town of Parumalapadu, within India's eastern state of Andhra Pradesh, and many people were very surprised when it was found mainly because it was built 200 years ago or so and was buried over 100 years ago. How did this happen? That would be because Nagaswara Swami was buried by sand and sediment from the nearby river as the Pena meandered and shifted its course, something that's been known to happen in the past. Now that it's been rediscovered, though, many archaeologists are excited to go and explore it. Now, some enthusiastic youngsters dug up the temple. We have plans to rebuild the temple to perform puja, Harumala Padu resident Patugunda Varaprasad tells New Indian Express. One of the more ironic elements of this story, though, is how it was uncovered. Because it wasn't a truly natural thing, but a timing event. You see, the miners and villagers who dug it up had just recently come back to the area after the pandemic restricted where they could go. Once they got back, though, they heard stories of the temple from the village elders and thus started digging to find it. They were only stopped when local authorities said it might hurt the temple. Number 7. Telephone Box 
If you were lost in the desert, or at the very least about to head into a desert area, there would be certain things you'd expect to see, and certain things you wouldn't expect to see. And on the latter end of that would likely be a telephone box. This is not a joke or a prank. There's a real telephone box in the desert. It can be found on the border between California and Nevada in the Mojave Desert. The telephone box was installed in the 1950s and has become a bit of a landmark in the area. There's one caveat, though, that needs to be noted. It doesn't work anymore. So while it's a nice find, it's not able to be an actual lifeline for people. Number 6. The Lost E.T. Games Video game history is littered with both phases and rise and fall moments. First came the arcades, which started with Pong, and then Atari started the console revolution, bringing video games into the houses of many. Many other startup companies joined Atari and started to flood the market with games and consoles. The problem was that not all the games were quality, and by the time 1983 came around, the industry was hanging on by a thread. The scissors that cut the thread was E.T. the Extraterrestrial. A movie didn't end the industry for a time. Rather, it was a video game movie, one that was indeed based on E.T. The game was so terrible that few people dared play it, and those that did were not impressed in the slightest. So the powers that be took all the packages and cartridges and dumped them in a random landfill in the New Mexico desert and buried them, creating a legend about them in the process. Fast forward to 2014, a group of people poured over landfills in New Mexico and eventually found the lost stash. This was a part of a documentary called Atari Game Over. The games have been sold over the course of a couple of years, and all the proceeds go to the Tularosa Basin Historical Society. Another strange tidbit of this is that it's believed to only have been part of the legendary stash, as only 1,178 of the 700,000 were recovered, meaning that more than likely there are more ETs buried in the desert. When or if they will be found is another mystery. Number 5. Ancient River Network at one point in time, the Sahara did not have just sand, and many have tried to show just what it was like once upon a time. In these pursuits, such as one in 2013, it was revealed that there was a trio of rivers that went through the massive desert, something you wouldn't expect given how massive the Sahara is in its sandy scope. Timeline-wise, it's believed that these rivers were around about 130,000 to 100,000 years ago. What's more, it's believed that these rivers connected the southern area of the Sahara to the Mediterranean Sea, which in the process led to many areas of green in which people lived on or across via green corridors. This revelation was made by a computer-simulated model in which scientists looked at the desert and simulated rainfall from ancient times to see what would turn up. Further cementing this notion is that artifacts from the Stone Age have turned up in areas where one of the rivers were said to be. So while the Sahara is very much unlivable now for anything outside of certain animals, it was apparently once thriving with human life. Number 4. Spy Satellite Patterns Google Earth was once used to look at the Gobi Desert within China's Xinjiang and Gansu province, and those that used it noticed something that they couldn't explain. Mainly, there were massive lines and patterns within the ground of the desert, plus they were clearly man-made patterns. So what were they doing there? Apparently, the Chinese used this pattern to help orient their spy satellites. By having these massive patterns in the ground, ones that you can clearly see from space, the Chinese can use them to help the lens on the satellite calibrate correctly. It'll look at the pattern and try to calculate a distance that the people on the ground know the precise length of. They'll adjust the satellite until it gets the perfect numbers. Number 3. The Nabta Stones Within the Sahara Desert is another desert known as the Nubian Desert, and within the sands of this desert was found one of the most ancient stone calendars of all time, known as the Nabta Stones, also called Nabta Playa. This calendar, which is credited as the most ancient calendar in the world's history, is comprised of stones that are over 9 feet tall. The site itself was rediscovered in 1974 via anthropology professor Fred Windorf, who, by his own admission, almost missed the site entirely after he was returning from a trip to Libya. When he found the stones, he noticed several things, including that these stones were placed in a way that was aligned with the stars in the sky, leaving many to think that this was the beginning of astronomy for the Egyptian people despite the site itself being from a civilization before the Egyptians. Another curious note was that the rocks were sandstone and weren't from where the calendar was located. Thus, the stones had to be dragged to this location, which could not have been easy. These stones indicate that around 7,500 years ago, a mysterious people were able to make this calendar, which has astonished many. Number 2. Ancient Structures in the Sahara Due to the vastness of the Sahara Desert, it's well accepted that we don't know everything that's buried under its sand. However, Satellite imagery is starting to give people a better look at what potentially is under there, including ancient structures that can only be seen from above at the present. Via these images, we can see that there are indents in the sands, as well as things poking out of them that we don't know about. 
some of which are over 300 feet in diameter, likely pointing to man-made structures of an ancient time period. One of the most promising theories came from Angela Mikol, which is the person who submitted the images. She believes that these structures might be the remains of ancient pyramids that have eroded over time. This is possible given that many pyramids have been found buried under the sands of the Sahara due to the winds of the area and more. The other possibility is remnants of past civilizations or other monoliths that might have been built during the history of the region. Number 1. Secret Swimming Pool Water is easily the most precious resource in the desert, and to not have it is a death sentence. So imagine people surprised when they found out that in the Mojave Desert, there's a swimming pool. Now, by swimming pool, I don't mean a massive place where families and communities can come together to swim. Rather, an artist from Austria decided to build a full-on pool in the middle of the desert. It's now known as the social pool. Here's the catch. Despite the pool being proven to be real and the pictures of it authenticated, no one is really sure where it actually is. No truly exact location exists. It's even escaped the eyes of Google and is described as being in an isolated location. Though, if you were able to find it, your surprise would still be valid. Thanks for watching. What did you think of these surprising discoveries that were made in the deserts of the world? Which of these finds was the most surprising to you? Let me know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time on the channel.